Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about CS2 kind of as a whole right now and what we can expect in future updates because there is a lot of stuff currently leaked in the game files and I want to talk about all of it. So let's get into it. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. If you've been looking to trade out your old boring skins for new ones, Skins Monkey is the place. By clicking the link in the description, you'll get a 35% deposit bonus when depositing with cash and crypto and up to a free $5 bonus on your first trade. So be sure to click that link. Skins Monkey also has the freebies tab where they run 24-7 giveaways that are completely free to join with crazy skins. And if you're looking to actually get your hands on some good skins, Skins Monkey is the quickest way to do it. So be sure to get that free $5 and 35% deposit bonus now trading your CSGO skins with that link at the top of the description. So one of the new main things that we've seen leaked in the game files and just talked about by creators constantly is new maps. And one of those, FM Pwn created cash in CSGO and he's been working on it in CS2. It is looking absolutely incredible. He has posted a ton of screenshots over the past few months. As you guys could see here, they look very good. These are just from October 22nd, so these are very recent. And over the past few months, he's posted a ton of different ones as well. This is a main on cash, so obviously things... Who is that fella? Things are coming together very good. It finally looks like we could actually get a new map in the game because the map pool is so dry, but the map does look really good, and that is one of only the many things that we have sort of found. This one wasn't in the game files because it's just FM Pwn posting about it, but it's one of the maps. Now, another one of the maps is Train. Train was featured as a touchstone map initially in the CS2 trailer. It should have been released along with the initial game, but we never got it, and that kind of left people confused. So just recently, there's been another leak regarding Train, and it's apparently related to a stormy weather scene that uh, there's been some strings found in the game files. There's some ambiance, rainscapes, there's thunder sound effects, so very interesting. I don't know what they plan on doing with this, whether it could be some sort of, like, custom, I mean, temporary map only used in like missions or an operation or something like that. Who knows? I would like to see it back in the actual map pool because I think it would play really well in CS2 with the, you know, I don't even know what they call it, the smokes that, you know, they can land up here and then stretch all the way down here. I think it would play pretty well, but uh, the FPS in the game is kind of bad right now, so maybe they're waiting to fix that to actually throw it in. Either way, there's been leaks with Train since like the very beginning when CS2 dropped of different stuff in the game files. So they're 100% still working on it. And with this stormy weather theme added, you would like to think they're almost done with it. But who knows? Either way, it was featured as a touchstone map and they should have been done with it pretty early on. I would think they're waiting to release it with a much bigger update. Now, relating to that much bigger update and a very clear sign that they've been working on something for an extreme amount of time is uh, this funk vehicle thing they talked about. Over a year ago, pretty much at the beginning of CS2, when CS2 first dropped, they said they were talking to launders, replying to something, but they said Funk Vehicle is something that we need to get right and more on that soon. Trademark, obviously it's been over a year, so not very soon, but uh, it is something they talked about and Funk Vehicle, I don't think we're going to be able to be driving around a car on dust tube up mid or anything crazy like that. So you would think this is part of something bigger, like an operation, mission, something along that line. And it's just very interesting to see. Now, I think this kind of ties in with the armory update, sort of because this is purely just skins. And uh, somebody actually messaged the dev and said this is pretty much, and the dev replied rather, I should say, that this is pretty much going to be permanently in the game now, this whole armory thing. They're going to cycle out all these skins eventually, but the concept of the armory as a whole is going to be permanently in the game now. So I think that means it's going to be separate from an operation and they release this before an operation because that simply just makes more sense from uh, you know a time timeline perspective, I guess. We always get this in the game, but we could get operations, I don't wanna say seasonally, but every so often, just to give us maybe some new agents, some different charms, stuff like that. And another thing that might be featured in an operation separate from the armory update is pets. Pets and their whole animation system have been in the game files for an extreme amount of time. I would say over a year at this point. They were one of the first things that were leaked alongside CS2 as well. There's a whole bunch of different animations for them. These are actually in the game files, as you could see here. That is not what the pet would look like. That's just a, I don't know, refrigerator. <laughs> I don't know why there's an animation that looks like that. Maybe it's a death animation, but there's a whole lot of different animations for pets. These are in the game files, and uh, what they could look like, and uh, one guy actually figured this out, is that there's inspect animations for chickens. 
this is in the game. This is a real thing. Don't really ask me why it's in the game and why you can move them around like this. But there is a whole thing relating to pets in the game, and this is 100% real. I don't, once again, I don't know why. Now, people were speculating that being able to pick up chickens, maybe you could, like, move them to certain parts of the map as an operation or, like, operation mission or something like that. I don't want to speculate on that because we don't really know, but it is something Valve has consistently been working on, and there's been more and more leaks of it across the months since over a year ago. So it is still being worked on. Who knows why, but it's definitely part of a bigger update. And sort of relating that bigger update as well and just operation talk and what I personally think is going to be included in the next operation is this whole thing, once again, relating to not only pets, but a whole thing relating to wearable items and just full customization of agents, which I think we are 100% going to be getting eventually, just like I said with charms or keychains or whatever. That was leaked in the game files too, and obviously we ended up getting that. Now, with this complete customization, it's another leak in the game files, there's stuff for face masks, there's stuff for pets, hands, eyewear, hat, lower body, torso, appearance. There's a whole different setup of different stuff you could do to customize your agent, and it would be absolutely insane. I think Valve just introducing the concept of agents pretty much tells us that they're going to be going for something like this eventually. Obviously, we don't know when that's going to release or anything like that or how they're going to do it, if it's going to be in a case, if it's going to be in some sort of operation shop or just shop like this where you could, you know, spin a, a collection and then you get maybe some sunglasses, some some shoes. I don't know what they'll give agents. Either way, it could be absolutely crazy. But these are just pretty much all of the things leaked in the game files right now. Actually, not anywhere close to all of them, but this is just a few of the main things. And I think all of these are being held off to the point where I think they're all going to get released in one big update. I think that would make the most sense. We've got new maps. We've got old maps that are being reworked and have been getting reworked since the very beginning of CS2. We have Funk Vehicle. We've got pet animations. We've got inspecting chickens in the game, and we got stuff with agent customization. So we also still don't have Danger Zone in the game, by the way. I can't imagine that would run well on the CS2 engine because of how bad frame rate is in the normal game, but hopefully that's something they're fixing up as well, giving us some operation missions or something along those lines. And once again, I think it makes sense that they release this armory update to kind of hold, of, hold us off, give us a bunch of new skins, and then eventually maybe along with the season two, which we somehow still don't have at this point, maybe that's when the big update's going to release because cheaters are not really an issue in the game anymore if you just go look at the leaderboard here except for flam who has a 91 percent win rate somehow guys i guess he five stacks most of the people here only have like 60 50 like mid 60 percent win rates except for this guy who's going crazy but it doesn't look like there's really that many or if any obvious cheaters except maybe the 100 percent win rate guy but obviously we don't know a lot of people in here only have like 60 percent win rates and they're top 100 players in the world well very early on with this whole leaderboard concept there was a lot of cheaters lots of people with ridiculously high win rate percentage where if you go to their profile and watch their previous games they were obviously wall hacking or something like that that doesn't seem to be the case anymore so i would say the game seems to be in a great spot where you could actually play it at this point, besides maybe the frame rate issues and uh, just the uh, sub-tick issues in general, which need to be fixed out. But I think what once that's all done, we should expect a big update. So hopefully there's some small stuff that leads us into that after this Armory update. But as always, let me know what you guys think. Be sure to check out Skins Monkey with that link at the top of the description for a free $5 bonus on your first trade. And I'll see you guys next one. Peace.